I freaking love Flying V guitars. I think they're absolutely amazing. I think they look the most metal of all the guitars. I mean, sure, you know, the Explorer is kind of cool. The Strat's cool too as well. The Les Paul looks like you could serve coffee on it. But the V? Yeah, this, this just looks badass. And, you know, I've been building up a wide collection of Flying Vs over the last few years. First and foremost, with this right here, this is the first V I ever had. This is my Jackson Performer. I got 19. I really like this guitar except for the uh, stupid input jack put here which makes it almost impossible to sit with unless you got a right angle cable and it, you know it just kind of gets in the way of playing and having a good time so this one doesn't see that much action uh, too much anymore but I've got a lot of great V's since then including this beautiful one from Schecter this thing is just sick then there's the one of a kind custom from Vicious Guitars in Toronto this was handmade for me <laughs> this thing just plays brilliantly if you're in the market for something truly unique and truly awesome talk to the vicious guitars guys then we've got the harley benton failure uh, this one came out of the factory with the pickups not grounded correctly because somebody used enameled paint and the ground couldn't get to where it needed to go i hear it's harley benton's 25th anniversary this year so hey all i can say is hey happy birthday harley benton get well soon I've also got this incredible LTD Kirk Hammett signature model. It's absolutely incredible. Comes in gorgeous bass boat black. I've also got the signature Dave Mustaine V from the non-shitty version of Gibson, and that's Epiphone. And this totally awesome solar cannibalismo V in blood red. This thing is super cool. But today, I've got the brand new Solar V Wolfmaster. Let's grab the unboxing table and check it out. Okay, we're all set here. Gonna double check the unboxing table because the uh, slight mishap I had last time seems pretty solid. That's the thing, I, I got so tired of my last unboxing table breaking all the time. I went out and bought a new one and I thought it was secure and then this happens. Let's grab the guitar, throw it up on this table and see what we get. All right, let's grab the guitar. Let's throw it up on the box here. Let's see what we get. You know, I've, I've been thinking about this. It's like, okay, so Solar Guitars is obviously Ola's company. He's based in Sweden. It's like, you know, Sweetwater gives us candy. Uh, what are we supposed to get in a box of Solar Guitars? Like Swedish meatballs or something? That might be kind of cool. I don't think they'd last very long though. Unless they make a candy version of that. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I gave up sugar a couple years ago. My wife winds up getting all the candy anyway. Okay, yeah, after getting all those staples undone, let's see what we get. Oh boy, just what I always wanted, another box. At least it looks to be in reasonably good shape. Uh, the box didn't come with any UPS speed holes. Most importantly, it doesn't look like it was by somebody at DHL. It's very important to bring up the fact that Solar does take the time to double box their instruments. Very important stuff. That way the guitar does survive. Let's see what we get. Ooh, gig bag, cool, awesome, all right. Things are looking good already. And we get, uh, ooh, this little plastic, ooh, solar, it says solar on it. It's black and it says solar, so it's very cool. Oh, I said so. Maybe we get to see what this guitar's all about, finally. Love the gig bag idea, though. I mean, that's the thing about Vs, though. If you get hard shell cases for them, they're usually fucking gigantic. So I much do prefer gig bags for this sort of thing. Let's see what we get. You guys get the first look here. And it's wrapped up. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's light. Wow, that's really light. I don't know if that's even lighter than the Cannibalismo. Hmm, okay. All right, we're gonna take a real quick look at this in j just a minute. Let me get rid of the unboxing table. Oops. Yeah, sorry about that, Alderaan. Anyway, let's get on to it. Okay, I've been dying to see what the hell this thing looks like. Let's just get the wrapping off this and see what we get. Ooh. Ooh, it's a blonde. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Is that roasted maple? What is going on with that? So the, the, the fretboard and the neck are the same color. Look at that. That's kind of cool. You can even say it's got a woody. Okay, wow, check that out. Single pickup, white body, it's in matte finish. This is kind of a solar 
signature kind of thing. They don't really do a lot of glossy guitars. A lot of them I've seen have this cool matte finish, and I like that a lot. We've got a push-pull volume knob, uh, and looks like a kill switch instead of a tone control. Like I said, that's really sick as well. Input jacks in the back. This is great because you can sit with this guitar this way and it should be absolutely fine. Uh, but most importantly, it's got a Floyd as well. And this looks to be an actual Floyd Rose, it's not a licensed Floyd Rose. Very cool. Check this out. The neck joint right here goes from matte finish to satin finish and it's flawless. That is a really nice joint. That's very well done. And first inspection of the fretwork. Nothing popping out, nothing scratchy. Not bad. Okay, a couple scratchy frets right up here. About the 20th fret. Could maybe just use a little bit more filing. Other than that, it's smooth as glass right up until about the 16th to the, the, the 18th. It just feel the last couple frets look like they could just get taken down ever so slightly. I'll have to get out the emery board and do that. So gonna dock points there. Uh, yeah, honestly, uh, that's kind of kind of disappointing to be completely truthful with you guys because I expect better from Solar. Every guitar I've had from them come into the studio has just been absolutely flawless. Uh, so to get just a little bit of fretwork that needs to be taken care of, um, that's a little bit on the disappointing side. Not a complete deal breaker though, but uh, just a, a little heads up to everybody at Solar there. Hey, make sure you double inspect those that fretwork and make sure that's getting out of the factory and it's smooth because your reputation's riding on it. All right, everybody, this video is brought to you by all of us over at Spectre Digital and our brand new plugin, Singularity. Now, your support is what helps me continue to fund the channel and give you guys the kind of reviews and tutorials that you love. It also helps us make more plugins that we think will really help you make your music production sound better and get your mixes done quicker. So we finally did it, Singularity. After years of complaining about bass players, I decided to take matters into my own hands. This is a virtual bass instrument and amp sim in one plugin. There is literally no excuse for not having incredible sounding bass on your recordings anymore. You get ultra realism and full tone shaping options, including two different preamps and cabinet impulses by yours truly. This one plugin is all you're going to need. Guitar players, you finally won't need to re-record the bass parts anymore. Because if your band has a rule number two, then Singularity is custom made just for you. Whether you're at the demo stage or at the critical stage of making an album, if your bass player just can't deliver the goods, then Singularity is going to rock your production. Links in the description below. Go grab it now. All right, so we finally got it unboxed. I got everything set up. I've got a 6505 1992 original uh, sitting back here. That's the reissue of the original block loader. I got a video on that coming up real soon. Uh, so far, so good with that one, though, by the way. But, you know, this is, this, I love how this guitar sits. This is, you know, your typical solar guitar, you know, nice bevels, no, nice lines. You know, it's really easy to sit in the studio with it. It's not uncomfortable. Oh, and. <laughs> You know, it comes out of the factory tuned, ready to go. Fucking right. Well, that, there you go. That's got a Floyd on it. So somebody obviously, you know, did some homework there setting it up. Yeah, intonation seems great, you know. All right, let's fire this thing up and see what we get. It's a lovely kill switch here. And... You guys are seeing this, right? I'm hitting the kill switch. You can hear that thing. I think I'm gonna have to put some springs behind the Floyd Rose here. But, I mean, you know, my amp is definitely on. You know, I got my cock blocker pedal in place.
but not getting anything out of the instrument. Um, the source it should be a bad guitar. Well, this does have a Fishman in it. Let's take a look here. And, oh, there's a problem right there. No battery. Seriously, guys, what the fuck's up with that? Let me let me just have a quick look here, make sure there, and see if I missed it, you know, in the case somewhere or something like that. This could be completely my fault. Okay, we've got a nice accessory bag here. It's got the Allen keys, it's got the strap locks, it's got the whammy arm, all that kind of stuff. And even a card here. Did anybody sign off on this? The warranty booklet? No, but it's got a nice picture of Ola, so you can, you know, they like frame that and put that up on your wall, I guess. But uh, no, no, no sig. Oh, oh, hang on. We do have an inspection card here. And nope, that's for the strings. Okay, blacksmith strings. No, no, no sign off on the inspection here. Okay, the plot thickens. I hope there's a nine volt because I don't have any here in the studio. I just ran out. Nothing there. Let me double check my box. Well, I just tore apart the box and I'm sad to report that no, there is no nine volt to be found. I mean, I'd really like to hear this guitar. I'd like to show how great it plays, but right now this is all we're getting. Okay, it does cleans pretty well. Of course, I don't know what happens when you plug it in. Fuck's sakes, guys, what the hell? I mean, geez, I, I, I love solar guitars, I really do. I mean, like, I've been a fan of Ola's playing for years. Full disclosure here, we've been buddies since about 2005, uh, when we were all hanging out on the Andy Sneap forum together, you know, I've seen his his career take off, mine's taken off, all that kind of stuff, and I'm more than happy to support him in his endeavors, because I think he makes really fucking cool guitars. I remember when he was working with Strictly 7, and then he moved over to Washburn, and then went into business for himself, and I've just watched it take off and, and it's like fucking right dude good for you you know and i love his guitars like i said i love my cannibalismo it's such a fucking cool guitar that x series i demoed a while back that's fucking cool too i love the look of this fucking thing i mean like uh, yeah like white v hell yeah i you know guitar companies always send me black guitars and i'm like send me something brighter it'll look good on camera this is a gorgeous looking guitar i have no idea how it sounds because now i gotta go to the fucking store and buy a fucking nine volt Seriously, guys, what the hell? Talk about spiking the ball on a one yard line. Let's put it this way. You're making it exceptionally difficult to give you guys a good review. This is, you know, this isn't like Gibson fucked up the paint bad. No, no, this is just like a minor oversight and a bit inconvenient for me. But uh, come on, seriously, guys, next time you ship one of these things out, make sure you ship a fucking battery with it. All right, I'd love to hear this guitar. I'm sure you would too, but we're gonna have to pick that up in part two because I got other things to do. I live like out in the burb, so now I gotta go find a store and go find a fucking nine volt. Yay me, to be continued.